as you know, function can be increasing or decreasing or neither of them. Sequences can have the same property as you will see in this video. You can probably guess already how increasing is defined for a sequence, but how do you prove that the sequence is increasing? You'll see some examples of that too in this video. Well, a sequence an is called increasing if an plus 1 is bigger than an for all elements of the sequence. So the sequence is growing, sequence is decreasing if an plus 1 is smaller than an for all n. So sequence is getting smaller and the sequence is called monotonic if it's either of the two. So let's do some examples to see how we can prove that the sequence is increasing or decreasing. So take first c over n plus 5. I can see it already. If you put higher and higher n, you see that the uh, elements are getting smaller and smaller, so it's probably decreasing. But how do you prove it? Well, we have a n equals 3 over n plus 5, a n plus 1 equals 3 over n plus 6. Now we know, of course, that n plus 6 is bigger than n plus 5, because 6 is bigger than 5. So if you do 1 over n plus 6, that becomes 1 over n plus 5. The equality is reversed. Multiplying by 3 does not alter the inequality. So 3 over n plus 6 is smaller than 3 over n plus 5 for all n. So you have that a n plus 1 is smaller than a n for all n, which means the sequence is decreasing. So let's do one more proof, which is slightly more complicated. The n of n squared plus 1, you see that if n becomes uh, big, you already see that it tends to 0. Uh, so it's probably decreasing again, but how do you prove it uh, nicely? So a n equals n of n squared plus 1, and a n plus 1, you just plug in n plus 1 on the place of n, so we get the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 between brackets squared plus 1. Uh, and then we have to show, because we expect, that a n plus 1 is smaller than a n. Well, that's equivalent by uh, cross multiplication to, so cross multiply here and here, n plus 1 times n squared plus 1 smaller than n times, work n n plus 1 squared, n squared plus 2 n plus 1 plus d1, which was still there. And that's equivalent to working out the brackets here. You get the n cubed plus n plus n squared plus 1. So all those terms. I work at, at the brackets here. We get the n cubed plus 2n squared plus 2n. We get the terms over there. And that's equivalent to, let's cancel out some terms. Those terms cancel out. And let's see. Here we have a n squared left. And here we have a n left, and then only the one is left. So that's equivalent to 1 smaller n squared plus 1. So this last statement is true because n starts at 1, and n squared plus 1 gets bigger and bigger. So n squared plus n is certainly bigger than 1 for all n, and bigger equal to 1. So since this last statement is true, all of them are true because they are equivalent, which means that uh, we see that the first one is true or a n plus 1 smaller than a n, which means that our sequence is decreasing. So that's one way of approaching uh, uh, such a problem. You uh, uh, start with the first one, you wonder whether it's true, and you continue with equivalencies until you see something which is clearly true. So the second approach, alternative, you define the corresponding function f, f, f of x equals x over x squared plus 1, could go wrong because f contains more information than the sequence a n, but let's see what happens. And we compute f prime with the quotient rule, so 1 times x squared plus 1 minus derivative of uh, numerator x uh, uh, 2x times the uh, x of the numerator, and work it out to 1 minus x squared, and you divide by the denominator squared. And then you see for x bigger than 1, this 1 minus x squared is negative. So you see here f prime is negative for x bigger than 1. So that means that if f prime is negative, your function is going to get lower and lower. Your function is decreasing. So if your function is decreasing, if you evaluate it at n equals 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., those numbers will also be decreasing. So you know that your sequence is also decreasing. So that's an alternative way to show that your sequence is decreasing. 